Let's talk about the new ores coming to Minecraft in the Caves and Cliffs update. My name is Echo and I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you guys have been enjoying my breakdown and understanding videos. There is that much information coming out of Minecraft Live that I'm taking the time to cut these videos up into separate videos so not only you guys understand what is coming to Minecraft but also myself. I've actually re-watched Minecraft Live twice. So this video is about the ores. There is two of them that have been announced and confirmed so far. The first one that I want to go over is called Amethyst Geodes, but Agnes actually referred to these as crystals. And of course, I have a video clip for you, so roll it. So far, it's a lot about like improving the journey underground, but of course, we also want to add like new things to find, like new resources. And one of them are crystals. They're so beautiful. So this is a different ore compared to what we're used to already in Minecraft. As you know, as a Minecraft player, you go mining, you take the ore block, you go to your furnace, you smelt it, and you take the item out. Or in some cases, you go mining, you mine coal and diamonds on the spot, and you take it there and then. Now the Amethyst Geodes, which is the official name for this, which was referred to as crystals by Lady Agnes, will work slightly different. Now the developers explained that they will come with new sounds when players are walking on them or around them. Now Lady Agnes also explained that they wanted them to be rare. How rare is this gonna be? Is this gonna be rarer than diamonds? Are diamonds gonna drop down even further? Because we have netherite now at the top, then diamonds. It's gonna be a toss up, I think, between the amethyst geodes, the crystals, and of course, the diamonds. Now if you guys do have any more feedback regarding these items, by the way, the developers are always looking for feedback from the community. Feel free to tweet the developers or you can post it on the official feedback website. The developers also explained that you can break the crystal plant. So that thing that's sticking out of the ground, that can be broken. But they also explained that you cannot take the block that they grow on. So this will only grow on one specific block. It is unobtainable, which is exactly what Ulraf said. He said the best way to compare this block is to spawners. You simply can't mine spawners. I mean, you can break them, but you cannot take them with you. Now they said the purpose of this is so people don't just have everything in their homes and bases and you have to explore. So I like that. Not everything's gonna be in one place. If you wanna go and get these crystals, for one, you're gonna have to wait for them to come back. But number two, you're gonna have to go to the exact spot where you found them. Now these crystals, once mined, will give you crystal shards. And this is exactly what they're gonna be used for. Videotape, roll it. So from those crystal plants, you get crystal shards items, and you can actually use them to craft a telescope. Does Optifine Zoom spring to mind for anybody else? And yes, I actually have a tweet from Optifine in regards to the Zoom feature, but telescopes coming to Minecraft, one of the most unexpected features announced during Minecraft Live. So you are gonna use the shards from the crystals as like the glass part to see through a telescope. Now let's talk about the Zoom feature. Minecraft and Mojang, this needs to change. Circles in Minecraft, that's illegal. So I would expect this to change. Yes, the circle is kind of jagged, but it doesn't feel Minecrafty. Now again, everything is subject to change and I would expect this to be one of those features that change. I was really loving this chicken just chilling behind uh, the slabs. And of course you could see the Ravager as well. So here is the tweet coming from Optifine. They tweeted saying, a lot of people are saying stuff like, remove zoom when the new big Minecraft update comes out because it'll be unbalanced. Now he commented saying, I don't agree with the idea at all, but I generally want to know how is it not already unbalanced? They then said, just to kind of play devil's advocate, wouldn't it technically be slightly more balanced now that vanilla players 
have the ability to zoom compared to having no ability at all up to this point. Just to make it clear, this thread is purely for discussion and doesn't determine the future of the zoom feature at all. So people got really mad and started like tweeting towards Optifine saying remove this feature, it's gonna be official. But I kinda agree with Optifine. Like Optifine's had zoom and they've definitely had an advantage. Vanilla Minecraft players are gonna get zoom. It's kinda basically the same thing. Now, getting back on track, so the shards are going to be used for the telescope, but it's going to require one more ore. I'm going to let the developers tell you exactly what. So yes, you use the crystal shards to craft them, but you also need something more, and that's also a new thing that we added. So copper is the other ore announced for the Minecraft Caves and Cliffs update and you are going to need both the crystals and the copper to craft yourself the telescope to do the zoom zoom feature. Now I imagine as the snapshots and betas get released maybe early next year, I imagine copper is going to have more uses. Now if you look at the single use that iron has in Minecraft, I imagine copper is going to be such a fantastic ore going forward to the future of Minecraft. So I was really happy about this. Now, it said here that copper is the other ore to craft telescopes. Copper is a new ore in which it generates in different ways from previous ores. Now, Agnes referred it as ore veins. Rather than it being clumps and everything just being in one section, there's going to be veins and veins of this stuff. Although I feel like she didn't really explain it in great detail. And I would love to see more about the copper ore. That rhymed. Now, what we did see is that this can be crafted into slabs. Possibly stairs, walls, and maybe much more. But one feature that this does have is copper has a weathering ability. Now, Lady Agnes explained that the weathering mechanic will take a long time to affect. So, for example, you're not talking one day or two day in Minecraft or three day. You're talking like 20, 30, 40, 50 different days in Minecraft before it starts to look weathered. Now, we do have a gameplay clip, so let's roll it. So I actually counted the time-lapse days. Maybe I was out by like one or two days, but it was 36. The sun went round 36 different times. So the weathering ability, obviously it starts bright and beautiful, and as time goes by, it starts to weather. There's gonna be so many cool creations with this, and it's gonna give it like that old feeling. And Agnes actually referred to this as uh, history in Minecraft. Now the copper ore does have one more use and that would be the lightning rod. I'm pretty sure you guys are aware of that. If you're not, don't worry. I'm going to be covering that in another video. But yeah, two ores announced so far. I imagine there's going to be more. And even if there is just two ores announced, there's probably going to be even more features with these ores. Considering crystals are incredibly rare, I imagine they're going to be used for more than just a zoom feature. So guys, have a great day. Stay beautiful. If you did enjoy today's video, please be sure to hit that like button. And I'm here every single day trying to keep you all updated with what announced for Minecraft Live. Have a great day and catch you next time. Bye.